the location for the screws to take the fascia off the fire is right in there. So you have to take those out to take the fascia off. That's the hole right there for your screw. So to remove the fascia, which you have to lift up, you need two people. And what you have to do is very gently get hold of the under part there. And the same for the other person on the other side. Gently just lift it up because in there are two little hook shaped pieces of metal. So you just physically just lift it up and then pull it away. I would advise putting a pad down or something or a blanket just just in case so we're having problems with the fireplace it was just over on that far corner was coming away from where the wall is there so we've taken the fireplace out to discover this and this is the reason why we're not getting any uh, warm air into the garage area well, I would presume that's what it is yeah so basically the problem is that this is where the hot air comes out of from underneath and then what it should do is go down around the back of there and then feed into there so down around the back and up and it's just been left at the front so we're gonna tidy all this junk out of here and we're gonna reroute this bar boy here down around there and hopefully fix it. What do? <coughs> okay, so just get some aluminum tape and just tape it up just to strengthen the tube because I'm going to have to change the shape of it to go down the back to go down the back of that. Okay. So, so now it's got a feed down there and around. And then I have to have enough material to be able to turn it like that not going to be easy and get that onto there. Okay. There we go. Okay, and then we just tape him up. And that's how we've done it. We've fed the aluminum tube down the back and around and put lots and lots of tape on it and now it works good. We have warm air in the garage and in the washroom. Now here's the other issue is that the depth of the fireplace is six inches. And the, the distance from the back of this cold water thing to where the back of the fireplace is gonna be is only five and a half inches. Now what I need to do now is come into the small washroom. This is our culprit here, which is basically, I don't know, maybe an inch too long. So I'm gonna unfasten it there, disconnect that, and then cut an inch off and then reconnect it. And that should cure the problem. Don't forget to turn the water off and put a plastic bowl just to catch any, any excess water before you disconnect this guy here. So we're just gonna cut the connection just there. So what we're gonna do is remove this part and then reconnect it and we should be good to go. All right, so we've got that little bad boy removed from the end of here. Now we're going to put uh, the clamp over the pipe and then we're going to reattach 
the valve to the pipe and then reattach that to the back of the tile up there. Uh, now that we've got it all connected, we'll go and turn the water on, keep the little uh, water container under there, just in case we get a leak. Just as a precaution, I've just measured the new position of where the T is compared to the back of the fireplace and it's just six inches so it should work very nicely. Screw the fireplace back in and then put the fascia back on. There you go, uh, fascia back in, all fixed, tested and ready to rock and roll.